You're not living in England. You're surviving. You're, you're not even thriving. You're just about existing. And, and this is what we're doing. We're working to ourselves to death in England, literally. And the government are now trying to, uh, you know, make it, you work harder for longer till 67, till you can retire. No. So many of my friends have died before they even got to my age because of stress and other illness, not eating good food, not, you know, not breathing good air, not eat, drinking clean water. Th this is the truth. This is the truth. Trinkets and technology don't make a society. People make a society. All right, Shalom. This is your brother Nahalia from the GMS Orlando camp. I want to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakakodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who are the elders of Yasha Allah, and a sincere salutation to all you Akim, who are preaching this word and believing this word, and to the Akwath, who are believing this word in all truth and in sincerity. This is Isaiah 28 and 20 reads, For the bed is shorter than that a man can stretch himself on it, and the covering narrower than that he can wrap himself in it. All right. And I want to go into a lesson through the spirit based on the clip that you just saw of the the woman. I don't know her name uh, speaking concerning the society that we live in. All right. And how whether you're in the West of America's. All right. Or the Western society in London and the UK, uh, the same um, society um, exists for you Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans where you're barely surviving. All right. Everything that Jake does. You know, they're working extremely hard to just stay in the same condition that they're in. You know, in, in most cases, it would make sense that you work hard and you get farther. But in this situation, we don't. All right. And that's why the scriptures talk about the bed being shorter than a man. All right. And the covering uh, narrower so that you can't even cover yourself, meaning you don't have any assurance of life. As the scripture said, we wouldn't. All right. So we are subject to payments. All right. We have to work ourselves to the bone through the spirit. All right. And that's a, a reproach only to understand the, uh, the, the report. All right. This is uh, Deuteronomy chapter 28. And I will jump down to. Verse. 64. And the reason the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from the one end of the earth, even unto the other. And there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. And among these nations shalt thou find no ease, neither shall the sole of thy foot have rest. But the Lord shall give thee there a trembling heart and failing of eyes and sorrow of mind. And thy life shall hang in doubt before thee and thou shalt fear day and night and shall have none assurance of thy life. Because one thing the woman mentioned, all right, is that a lot of her peers um, had died. All right. And it's due to the stress, the diet. All right. That's why the Lord said this is not our rest. All right. The scriptures also mention the earth being defiled. And this is why you don't have clean water. So not only is Esau working you to the bone, you have no assurance of life. But even the things that you call food is not even sustaining you. It's not even benefiting your body. And this is why through the spirit, we look for a new heaven and new earth where it dwells righteousness. In this society, Esau has taught our people that the only thing that is valuable is fiat currency, is money and status in Esau's system. So our people work themselves to death, all right, like that slogan, get rich or die trying, all right, literally work themselves to death to try to attain something, all right, that very few of our people attain, and most of them attain it by compromising their integrity, all right? This is uh, Haggai chapter 1 and verse 4, and it reads, I'll start at 3. Then came the word of the Lord by Haggai, the prophet, saying, is it time for you, O ye, to dwell in your sealed houses and this house lie waste? Now, therefore, thus saith the Lord of hosts, consider your ways. All right. Consider this, right? Ye have sown much and bring in little. Ye eat, but ye have not enough. Ye drink, but ye are not filled with drink. Ye clothe you, but there is none warm. And he that earneth wages, earneth wages. To put it into a bag with holes. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, consider your ways. All right. And this is the common condition of our people. All right. And this is why that woman explained that in that clip. And this shows you that it's going on wherever we're scattered. 
All right, because you could tell by her accent, she's not from America per se. All right, but she's a product of this system as well, because again, we were scattered amongst all nations. And among those nations, as the scriptures say, we would find no ease. And this is why Jake is never satisfied, because Esau already has designed a system to where you never are satisfied. Every time you think you get to a finish line, he creates a new finish line farther away. And those of our people are caught up in that system. All right. When the scriptures talk about trembling and fearing day of night, day and night, it's not just about the cops. It's about your condition. You know, a lot of Jake's stay up late at night worrying about their situation. A lot of Jake's uh, work themselves to the bone. And then when they actually get home, they worried about how they're going to pay such and such bill. Or how they're going to get um, farther than where they are at, the, at that moment. How they're going to get another house or another car. And all of these different situations through the spirit, the Lord said we would have none assurance of our life. And we would grope. All right. And this is a product of our, our um our iniquity, because really we we left, we forsook the Lord, man. And because of that, we don't have rest among these nations. All right, when you go to Deuteronomy 28. All right, let's go to Deuteronomy 28. And I want to start around 46. All right. And it reads. You know what? Let's start at 48 or 47. Because thou servest not the Lord thy power with joyfulness and with gladness of heart for the abundance of all things. Now, look at the difference, right? It says, therefore, shalt thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in one of all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. So the Lord is saying, since we didn't serve him with gladness of heart. All right. In joyfulness for the abundance of things that the Lord gave us, our own land. All right. A, a fruitful land. When the scriptures describe it as flowing with milk and uh, honey. All right, that's synonymous with it being a fertile land. Since we didn't appreciate the gifts the Lord gave us as a nation of people, the law, statutes, and commandments, we were forced to serve our enemies. And this condition that that woman spoke of goes directly back to the source, all right, which is the Heavenly Father and His judgment against us as a nation of people. And this is why our people are running to all of these different scenarios and situations to try and find rest, all right? Jeremiah 50 and 6 reads, my people have been lost sheep. Their shepherds have caused them to go astray. They have turned them away on the mountains. They have forgotten. They have gone from mountain to hill. They have forgotten their resting place. So what you notice in this society is that Jake is going in all of these different areas, whether it's religion, whether it's um, jobs. All right. Whether it's careers. All right. Uh, for, for, the, for the men of our nation, whether it's like abundance of women and just chasing women jake is really looking for rest and comfort the bottle all right drugs all of these are different uh, places that jake goes to find rest to try to find comfort and that's why the scriptures say their shepherds have um let's get it it says their shepherds have caused them to go astray they have turned them away on the mountains because one of the most profitable positions in our community as being one of those shepherds that lead our people astray, whether it's entertainment, whether it's religious. And, and you'll notice because they'll sell it to you. All right. Whether it's music, movies. All of these things Jake is going to to find rest. Because you've grown up in a society that wasn't built for you and you can't understand why you, you don't succeed in it. And then when we tell our people why that is as a nation of people, they don't want to hear it. They have forgotten their resting place. And this all goes back to what the Lord told us, man. All right. This is uh, Micah. Chapter two and verse 10. And it reads, arise ye and depart for this is not your rest because it is polluted. It shall destroy you even with the sword destruction. So when brothers beginning with the apostles and elders go out on the highways and hedges, it's to warn our people that this place is polluted. That when you give your mind wholly to this, this system and this society, it destroys you. But then our people believe that somehow they're going to be different from the rest of our people who fall victim to this society when they give their heart to it. 
But that's why the scriptures say that this is the condemnation that light has come into the world and men love darkness rather than light. Because as watchmen, beginning with our apostles, the truth has come out about where we are, man. This is not our rest. This is not the place where the Lord designated for us to have smiles and, and good times and enjoy our children. When you think about what success is in this world, it don't involve none of that. Enjoying your children, being able to watch your children grow. All right. The, the so-called rich and Jake, they don't get to go to, to, to graduations and, and get to be at, be there at every birthday. You know, they got to work around the clock to maintain whatever substance Esau is giving them. And that's not rest. All right. This is Deuteronomy chapter 12 and verse nine. And it reads. For ye are not as yet come to the rest and to the in inheritance which the Lord your power giveth you. This is important, man. This is important. It's important. Because Jake done gave their heart to this system and they under they don't understand why the system don't love them back. And it's because it was never meant to. Your grannies, your great grannies, your daddies, your uncles. Done came and gone. We done waxed old in a strange land thinking that this is life and it's not. And then when Jake realized that it's too late. That's why the scriptures talk about uh, seeking your creator in the days of your youth. But Jake rejected to try to find some other comfort. And in the spirit, this place only destroys you, man. That's why the scriptures say, um, um, though our uh, outward man die, all right, our inward man is renewed day by day, roughly paraphrasing, because in, it's either or. All right, it's either or. And if you give and feed to the spirit, that means you're going to have tribulation in the flesh, whether it's thoughts in your head, all right, whether it's your circumstance, and you're going to have to battle those things and endure all heart and endure all things with hardness as a good soldier. All right. Uh, Ecclesiastes 12 and one reads, remember th now thy creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. Because when you get to a certain age, you don't have no pleasure in youth no more because you're not you're not young anymore. But Jake will, will go into the society and try to find some rest, some kind of way and ignore the, the, uh, the message that the Heavenly Father has sent. In abundance on the earth. And this is why even now evils are beginning to grow on the earth, because, again, the Lord said he will hold his tongue no more as touching the wickedness that our people exercise themselves in. Who are looking for rest in all the wrong places. And now that the warning has been poured out in abundance, you're starting to see more and more prophecy manifest itself on the earth. Which is good news for the, the elect and bad news for everybody else. Because, again, this is not what life was intended to to be for us as a nation of people. But because of our iniquity, we had to drink this cup. All right. This is Jeremiah 49 and 13. You know, what? let me start at 12. For thus saith the Lord, behold, they whose judgment was not to drink of the cup have assuredly drunken. And art thou he that shall altogether go and punish. Thou shalt not go and punish, but thou shalt surely drink of it. All right. And that shows you that the Lord has a different goal in mind for us as a nation of people at the end of this thing but you got a lot of our people who want to rest in the middle in a place that's not meant for our rest we're not meant to rest here and that's a hard saying for most of our people because esau teaches them that you're two weeks away from blowing up and being the being the success story that you can go to your church and tell them about and they keep that carrot on the stick to keep Jake invested in this system. The scriptures talk about us being the salt of the earth. So what Esau does, is he, he abuses you. All right. And that's why you're subject to payments. And Esau requires your life. You know, Jake, uh, uh, in, the, in the older days, Jake will work a, a same job 30 or 40 years just to get a retirement, uh, a Social Security check. All right. At the, if they make it to that age. Right. And then have to turn around and, and have nothing to show for it. All right. This is uh, Baruch chapter one and verse 19. 
Since the day that the Lord brought our fathers out of the land of Egypt unto this present day, we have been disobedient unto the Lord our power, and we have been negligent in not hearing his voice. Wherefore the evils cleave unto us, and the curse which the Lord appointed by Moses his servant at the time that he brought our fathers out of the land of Egypt to give us a land that floweth with milk and honey, like as it is to see this day. So again, there still remaineth the rest for us as a nation of people, but this is not it. All right. The Lord didn't create us as a nation of people to just serve the Edomites and only be happy on isolated days where you can get your family together and pretend like y'all having a good time, like the curses ain't cleaving to us. All right. That's not how our life was meant and intended. But because we disobeyed the heavenly father, the curses cleave unto us. But the good news is that the Lord is about to uh, uh, dissolve this society, man. It's the, he's going to destroy this society. And then there will be a rest for us as a nation of people. Lord willing, we are of that number, of that elect number. All right, this is Baruch chapter 3 and verse 8. And it reads, Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity, where thou hast scattered us for a reproach and a curse, and to be subject to payments, according to all the iniquities of our fathers, which departed from the Lord our power. And that's why we're subject to payments to this day. Even the so-called rich of our people, they're subject to they're subject to payments as well. Only difference is they live check to check is just bigger checks, but they're still subject to payments. And they go through all kind of hell on that on that side as well. With Edomites who are their lawyers and accountants stealing from them, taking advantage of them. All right. All of these things are signs that this is not our rest. But for all of these things, Jake will not repent. And that's why ultimately the Lord's going to have to do away with two thirds of our people. Because this even this woman there, she can understand the condition that we're in as a people. But she don't know what the rest is. She think going to Africa is the rest. Starting a business up in Africa is the, is the rest. And maybe she gets some temporary comfort from that. But as a nation of people, this is not our rest. If all of you Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans went to Africa right now, Esau will follow behind you with sword, with, with the gun, with drones and helicopters to take whatever you think you about to build, man. Which furthermore shows you this is not our rest and certain uh, ideas may work for a few Jakes, but as a family, as a nation of people, Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans, ain't no other way out of this, man. All right. This is John chapter 10. And verse one, and it reads, verily, verily, I say unto you, he that entereth not by the door into the sheepfold, but climbeth up some other way, the same as a thief and a robber. Now, whatever you do in this society to, to pay your bills and, to, you know, do what you can through the spirit is that ain't, ain't nothing wrong with handling your responsibilities through the spirit. But when you get your mind all engulfed in this society and trying to build and, and keep something permanent here, you're going to destroy yourself. If your hope is invested purely in Babylon, the great being uh, here forever which is what most of our people's plans involve. All of the so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American leaders, they all try to get you to climb up some other way. Here it is. The scriptures tell us about a kingdom to come. And, uh, and most of our so-called leaders are telling Jake to just build here. Even as the as evils are growing upon the earth, man. And Jake is so desperate for rest. They'll, they'll, he'll, they'll, they will hear anything that sounds good to the flesh, man. Matter of fact, let's go to that. This is uh, Isaiah chapter 30 and 9. And it reads that this is a rebellious people, lying children, children that will not hear the law of the Lord, which say to the seers, see not, and to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things, speak unto us smooth things, prophesy deceits, get you out of the way, turn aside out of the path, cause the Holy One of Yahshua Allah to cease from before us. Because what's the message of the Heavenly Father? This is not our rest. Repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. The Lord's determination is to gather the nations and pour upon them his fierce indignation. 
Yet our people will not hearken, even though every day they wake up to a world that's fighting against them. And that's why the scriptures say, ye that, uh, that, that are weary, rest with us. And that goes into the peace of mind that we have through the spirit, that we understand what's going on in the earth right now and what the end goal is. And that end goal is to, is to actually enter into the rest and the inheritance that the Lord has prepared for us as a nation of people. All right. This is uh, Hebrews chapter four and verse nine. And it reads, there remaineth therefore a rest to the people of Yahweh by Shemal Shai. And that's why we labor to enter into that rest. But this place itself is not our, our rest. And Jake confuses um, monetary gain, all right, a Jay-Z and a LeBron James, all right, social media with, with rest, with success. And it's not because we are, again, are yet this day in our captivity where at any moment in time, Esau can come into your neighborhoods, into your home, all right, and, and take any property that you think you own. At that moment, are you really free? And it don't matter where you go, because that woman, her, her solution was to go to Africa. But there's nowhere you're going to go as a nation of people. Because when you go into Haggai, the first chapter, it says, is it time for you to build your own sealed houses? And this house lie waste. And this is what most Jacob have done. They have went for a dog eat dog world. I'm just going to get mine. I don't care about the condition of my people as a whole. I'm just going to get mine. I'll put a Black Lives Matter or a hashtag that make me sound deep on social media. But I'm out here to get mine. That's Jake's mentality. And their desire for rest only makes their condition worse, man. Because a lot of Jake just worked themselves to death. And that's why through the spirit, this is the rest. This is the refreshing, man. All right, let's go to that. This is Isaiah chapter 44. And let's start up at three. You know what? Let's start at one. Yet now hear, O Jacob, my servant, and Israel, whom I have chosen. Thus saith the Lord that made thee and formed thee from the womb, which will help thee. And Jake don't believe the Lord's going to help us anymore. They hope is, is, is solely invested in starting up and building something permanent here, man. Fear not, O Jacob, my servant, and thou Jeshron, whom I have chosen. For I will pour water upon him that is thirsty, and floods upon the dry grounds. I will pour my spirit upon thy seed, and my blessing upon thine offspring. And they shall spring up as among the grass, as willows by the watercourses. And it's only by the spirit of the Heavenly Father that we're able to look at this society and see it for what it is, man. That the Lord has opened up our eyes to see that. Because Esau's invested a lot of money and time into making sure that Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans grow up believing in this system and being confident and dependent on Esau rather than the Heavenly Father. And only the Spirit of the Lord can separate you from that. That's why the scriptures say we're not ignorant of Satan's devices, man. All right, Lord willing. All right, now let me jump down. This is verse seven. And who as I shall call and shall declare it and set in order for me since I appointed the ancient people and the things that are coming and shall come. Let them show unto them. Fear ye not, neither be afraid. Have not I told thee from that time and have declared it. Ye are even my witnesses. Is there a power beside me? Yea, there is no power. I know not any. All right. And this is what the Lord is doing for us, man. He's delivering us. Through the said plagues and perils. Lord willing, we're part of that number. But Jake don't see it that way because their hope and their confidence is in Egypt. All right. And that's why through the spirit, two thirds of our people are not going to make it on this side, man, because they refuse to return. All right. But this is the, the rest and the refreshing that the Lord spoke of. All right. This is uh, Isaiah chapter 28. And verse 12, and it reads, you know what, let's start at, let's start at nine. Whom shall he teach knowledge and whom shall he make to understand doctrine? Them that are weaned from the milk 
and drawn from the breast. For precept must be upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line, here a little and there a little. For with stammering lips and another tongue will he speak to this people to whom he said. This is the rest wherewith ye may cause the weary to rest, and this is the refreshing yet they would not hear because again, Jake don't believe and it's not mixed with faith in them that heard this man. This is the refreshing, but Jake refuses to return and they're trying to find rest in all the wrong places, man. And that's why through the spirit, uh, we understand why two thirds of our people won't make it because again, they're looking for comfort in all the wrong places. And instead of re returning to the heavenly father and acknowledging their offense, they just continue to walk on in darkness. All right, so Lord willing, this was edifying. With that, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakakudash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who are the elders of Yasha Allah, and the sincere Saikitesh Taliwakim, who are preaching this word and believing this word, and to the Akwath, who are believing this word in all truth and in sincerity. Shalom.